Hi, I'm Alex from Be More Pirate. Thank you very much for having me back to the Valencia Design Education Forum in 2020. So I'm going to share a, sh a short provocation with you today. Um, but for those of you who don't know what Be More Pirate is, I'll just very quickly explain. Be More Pirate is, well, was a book that was published back in 2018. Um, it was written by Sam Conniff. And it's since become a global network and movement of people across all different sectors who are challenging rules, norms, conventions, and sort of disrupting the status quo. And my job, in a nutshell, is to support them to do that and try and understand the kinds of rules that really need breaking and rewriting. I started off as Right Hand Pirate and am now the captain of this growing movement. You might also be wondering what the hell pirates has to do with either design or education. So I want to start by saying that the pirate rebellion is first and foremost a creative one. We've grown up with this image of pirates as these kind of um, caricatures, these dastardly, lying, greedy villains. But Sam's book tells an entirely different story. The story of how the Golden Age pirates changed the course of civilization. And he explains that the reason that piracy was so threatening to the establishment was because it promised a better life for ordinary people. A life with equal say, equal pay, health insurance, and a chance to really chart your own course. And in a period of history where wealth creation was based almost entirely on exploitation, pirates went in the opposite direction and created fairer ways of living and working together. So they weren't these bloodthirsty anarchic rebels, they were actually innovators. And piracy as an idea is a route towards creativity and away from conformity. Which is what the top employers say that we need. Uh, this is a small survey um, done by LinkedIn in 2019 where the top soft skill that, em that companies most want is creativity. But my question is, does our education system encourage, nurture and produce creativity? And any of these skills for that matter? Over the last two years, I've spoken to lots of teachers and educators who all believe that being more pirate will support a better education system. So there's one major insight that I want to share today from them. Let's call it the biggest rule that we need to break in education if we are going to equip people in an, for an uncertain and rapidly changing future. And it relates to this word, how. So typically, education has always focused on what is being taught. Should we prioritise arts or science? Which theories are more important? Which period of history is more significant? Teaching has always been based around imparting information. But what I've learned from my education pirates is this. In the 21st century, it's not what is being taught that makes the difference, but how it is being taught. The internet has ent entirely changed the landscape of learning and access to information is no longer the issue, but how we process that information is. So we need to look more closely at learning methods and ask some different questions. Like, how could we learn more by doing? What value is there in really experiencing a concept rather than having it, it explained to you or reading it in a book? How does learning in a particular way make you feel? Are you bored, excited, afraid? Our emotions alter our ability to learn, so we need to pay more attention to them. And what biases are there in different learning methods? Does one method prioritise the needs or understanding of one group or over another? And what impact does that have in the long term? In a fast changing world, the ability to learn quickly and crucially to want to keep learning will be so important to the success, not of only of individuals, but society at large. And to do this, we've got to overhaul a lot of the old ideas about what an education really is and be willing to challenge some norms. This is the heart, of course, of the pirate philosophy. When the landscape changes, so should the rules. So I'll leave you with this. I know it might feel easier and safer to focus on tangible outcomes like exam grades and league tables, but the journey from why to what makes up the bulk of life. This messy stuff in the middle, the how, the day-to-day -day actions and behaviours are the things that have a lasting impact. So my, my lasting provocation is the rule that we need to break the most is a switch in focus from what we're learning to how we learn. Thank you.